Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'll try to speak in English. And uh, my... Uh, Okay, thank you. Uh, today's uh, contents of my uh, speech is uh, mainly uh, into, uh, divided into three parts. So first one is trend of broadband service in Japan. Uh, second one is uh, KDI environmental conservation activities. Then the expectations for FMBC. Okay, uh, the trend of broadband service in Japan. Okay, uh, the contents is like this. Oh, this is going back. Here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, the, this slide shows the uh, migration of core network to FMBC. Uh, there, there already has uh, some uh, speech from previous speaker that uh, the total network of mobile and uh, fixed communications is now going to be uh, IP, uh, uh, IP packet network. Uh, it's a so-called FMC uh, network. And in mobile case, the essential part is uh, called IMS or MMD, and in fixed communications, it is called NGN. And uh, in addition to that, uh, we are thinking that uh, some broadcasting network might be, maybe, integrated to some extent. We are calling that is, uh, this is FMBC, Fixed Mobile Broadcast Convergence. Uh, this uh, shows a macro trend in fixed broadband market in Japan. The, now the total number of broad, uh, broadband users are about uh, 30 million. The, it is uh, about half of a total uh, Japanese house uh, numbers. And uh, among that, the ADSL, FTTH, and CATV, cable TV is included. We, KDDI, are also providing this kind of uh, broadband communication service. In, for example, our uh, optical networks uh, service provides phone, internet, TV uh, simultaneously. This is uh, called uh, so-called triple play. Uh, this slide shows the macro trend of mobile market evolution in Japan. The num uh, total number of subscribers recently uh, exceeded 100 million. Uh, it's uh, almost approaching to the total Japanese population. And in these 10 years, uh, various uh, new functions or services uh, were added to the legacy uh, mobile voice communications, for instance, internet access or uh, camera phone, or GPS uh, capability, or uh, music download service. And recently, in two years ago, digital TV broadcasting receiving capability was also added to mobile communication service. It's called uh, digital TV one segment service. Uh, this slide uh, shows the example of the rapid growth of one segment mobile uh, phone in Japan. Uh, in this year, the total number of uh, uh, handset which has uh, TV mm, receiving capability exceeded 25 million. It is uh, about 25% of total uh, mobile handset in Japan. Then the KDDI's environmental conservation activities. I will uh, explain uh, briefly on that. Uh, in KDDI, we are providing mobile communications as well, and we have a total uh, 20 thousand, more than 20,000 base stations, and it cons consumes a lot of power. We also have a network center or data centers nationwide, so we are now the making uh, various efforts to reduce the power consumption of that. For instance, uh, introduction of mobile base stations with high efficiency, or introduction of efficient facilities at uh, network center or data center, such as inverter type air conditioners, solar energy generation. 
and by uh, combining those effort, we are expecting that uh, total uh, energy consumption might be will be reduced about 60% in year 2011. Uh, this uh, slide shows another example. The, we are also making some research and development uh, uh, effort for the mobile phone, for fuel, fuel battery type mobile phone. Or, or in the right hand side, it is uh, showing the solar power generation system for mobile base stations or for the, uh, some of the network center of us. Uh, this slide shows the, uh, another example of uh, deployment of uh, development of high efficiency amplifier for mobile base stations. Uh, by introducing this type of the, uh, um, amplifier, the total power efficiency is uh, uh, increased almost doubled. That means the reduction of power consumption is becoming possible and also it uh, leads to the redu reduction of cost and also the reduction of uh, cal uh, calorific value, which means that uh, the total air conditioning uh, power consumption will be dramatically reduced. And also it has a side effect of downsizing and weight saving. Uh, that means uh, saving of space is becoming also possible. And uh, the, on, on the other hand, in addition to that, improvement of failure rate will be also expected. Uh, this is another example. You know, for each of uh, base stations, we need some uh, standby uh, battery. Uh, existing type is uh, uh, PV battery system, but we are now thinking to introduce uh, introducing uh, lithium-ion battery system uh, for base stations if it becomes possible and the uh, cost becomes reasonable. Uh, by uh, introducing this lithium ion battery, the light uh, weight will be uh, reduced to more than 50%, and also size is also reduced. So it totally has a very uh, uh, important effect to reduce uh, carbon uh, emission. Then the uh, expectations for FMBC. As I explained, uh, we KDDI already providing various fixed uh, broadband communications, also the mobile communications. We are also anticipating a new wireless uh, broadband system like mobile WiMAX or a new broadcasting uh, system uh, like uh, MediaFlow. Of course, uh, the, uh, in, this, in the existing system, we already have uh, BCMCS capability. BCMCS is broadcast, multicast uh, system, or uh, as I explained, one segment uh, digital TV broadcasting receiving capability. Uh, all of those uh, will be combined to the uh, FMBC uh, concept. Uh, the uh, merit of the FMBC environment is uh, like this. Merit one is uh, traffic leveling. Uh, this distributing download is becoming possible. That means when the uh, traffic is very low, we can uh, distribute uh, the very heavy amount of uh, data. And merit two is distribution cost. The shared use of uh, each uh, communication channel becoming possible by using a broadcasting type of system. Uh, that means the uh, total network, network equipment cost or uh, server cost will be reduced. That means also it leads to the uh, co co um, reduction of uh, power consumption or reduction of uh, carbon emission. Uh, merit 3 is a cross-media service. Uh, it is already explained that the various uh, e, e, for instance, uh, e-commerce type of service be, be becoming possible. That means the uh, digital content and the electric money is, will be expanded more and more, and it can reduce the trans transportation cost or some uh, product cost. And it also leads to the uh, significant uh, in, um, reduction of power consumption or carbon emission. Uh, this slide shows the one example of the uh, FMBC scenario. Uh, in this slide, electric paper service is uh, uh, shown, uh, electric newspaper, electric book, electric advertisement. 
those, uh, uh, service will be uh, easily provided by using FMBC network, both broadband uh, fixed communication and also mobile or wireless uh, broadband network. Uh, this slide shows the uh, so-called telework or uh, mobile office type service. Uh, when uh, we can uh, totally uh, uh, utilize the uh, wireless broadband or vi wireless mobile communication service in addition to the uh, fixed broadband communications. In e everywhere we can work, we can have an office, virtual office. Uh, that means also this also reduces the transportation cost of the in total, and it also leads to the uh, reduction of uh, carbon emission. The uh, third example is the uh, stable supply of electric power. This figure shows on the right hand side there is a conventional power plant, but in addition to that, the, there is a, a various uh, battery system in house or in the vehicle or uh, in the school, in the hospital, the various batteries are already provided. And also in the left hand side, it is shown in the countryside, for instance, uh, wide use of green energy or clean energy is also possible. And uh, we can uh, monitor all those uh, uh, capabilities or sta uh, status by uh, through the FMBC network, the condition of that. So the, when the, some uh, energy is required, uh, we can identify which energy is most cost effective and most uh, the, uh, effective from the viewpoint of uh, power consumption. And in total, those uh, combination of FMBC network with uh, uh, energy consumption may uh, lead to the significant uh, reduction or, uh, how can I say, stabilization of uh, flat, flat, flat of the energy consumption. That leads to the also the uh, improvement of carbon emission. So uh, summary, the, as I explained, uh, FMBC type of service, uh, including uh, mobile communications, uh, has a v uh, various impact. Uh, the, on the left-hand side, it is said use case, uh, uh, telework, TV conference, remote video monitoring, so on. And those uh, use case has uh, totally the um, effect in the middle side, uh, contribution to environment, uh, redu reducing uh, transportation of people and products, and also the efficient energy consumption and reducing consumption of product itself. And also we can save the paper uh, consumption. Then the, on the right hand side, it is said the Visualizing reduction effect of uh, carbon emission is very important, and we are hoping some uh, unified evaluation criteria the, to make some figures uh, uh, necessary. And uh, if it it can, it some guideline is uh, created in ITUT, uh, it will uh, greatly help the of the uh, of us to to know. To, to become visible, how we, we can save, how, which uh, is the amount of the total power saving or uh, total uh, improvement of uh, carbon emission. And so this kind of uh, uh, visualized effect is, will be very important. Uh, this is the final slide of me. Uh, promotion of environmental conversation. Uh, Conservation. As I explained, uh, the uh, mobile communications is now the, uh, providing so-called uh, Web 2.0 type service, and also it means that various consumer-generated uh, media services are also possible, uh, like blog or SNS or various kind of uh, user participant type, participant type of service. And by using this kind of capability, they, we can encourage the all the people, all the person, uh, how they, they can make effort to reduce the carbon emission or to reduce the power consumption. So the, for instance, uh, the, every person can monitor by their mobile phone the, uh, daily, day by day, the, how much they can uh, uh, improve, can, they can make, make improvement of uh, power consumption. And this kind of figure can be cumulated uh, and it can be uh, shared with their friends or colleagues. 
and uh, there may be uh, some contest, for instance, may become possible. So this kind of the uh, uh, in every person's uh, the uh, uh, mind, the some stimulation or some uh, the interest in the reducing uh, the power consumption uh, may be uh, raised, and this kind of stimulation will be very imp important in total to reduce the total power consumption. So the, uh, we think that this ICT technology or FMVC network will be have a very uh, important uh, uh, media to reduce the total carbon emission in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.